What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the City of Z once again. I will be your tour guide today and I hope you enjoy your stay and today we got the official Call of Duty Black Ops 3 campaign trailer and it is jam packed filled with interesting things. However, today I just wanted to focus this video on specifically the forest. What is this icy forest? This snowy forest? What is this bird? And sort of what its role is in the campaign, the regular campaign that is. So I want to get into today's video right about now so if you guys do enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like and a comment your thoughts down below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any black ops 3 zombies and campaign stuff in the future so in order to understand what the forest is you have to understand that the call of duty black ops 3 campaign is going to be emphasis a lot on the memories going through memories accessing other people's memories through dni direct neural interfacing now they say that in the trailer but as you can see in that clip there that guy just reached in touched that girl experienced a memory of hers so what's really cool is the fact that we're sort of going to world war ii through these memories that was a clip right there of an older style tank so we're going way back when way back to world war ii that's that's crazy in my opinion. However, it begs the question, how does one experience these memories? Now look in the background of this tank here, and slowly but ever so surely you can see the formulation of a forest right there. Look, that's a forest back there. It breaks through the walls, but there is the forest behind the tank. So that leads right to the forest. What is the forest? Now it's been teased for months and months on end. As you can see here, he opens his eyes, memories come back. Boom, more snow, and now in this clip, that's the really interesting one of the day. Following this little torture scene, we see sort of a World War II-esque city, the tree just appear out of nowhere. That indicates that it's gonna be in a memory, falling, obviously some sort of dream, direct neural interface sort of thing going on, and then of course that ending scene right there, which is nuts. So I want you guys to focus on that little ending frame where we see that tree and the two figures by the tree and it's really ominous and really spooky and it really symbolizes the forest in all of its entirety. So ready about it now, right there, that is iconic. So it's probably about time I answer what is the forest and this is my theory regarding the forest as we haven't gotten a concrete answer through the campaign. but. The forest is going to be the place where you experience memories, you access and control other people through DNI, you, you're interacting with the DNI of yourself or other people. That is what this forest is. It's not the actual, it's not an actual forest, it's a figment of your imagination. It's going on in your head, thus making it not actually happening in real life. This is where people are being controlled in the campaign. Perhaps you'll visit the, your memories, the other people's memories, and learn about your enemies in World War II or something along those lines through the forest. You might meet them if, they're, if they are also experiencing this direct neural connection with you. Maybe two people can be in the forest at the same time. I think this is a very plausible thing. However, I also think it could be. Nah, no, I'm just joking, it's not Game of Thrones, but it is very similar to it, you know, so shout out to any of you who get that reference, but anyway guys, that is what I believe the forest to be. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video in which we talk about how this forest might relate to zombies. You don't want to miss that. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.